Electronic health record systems have been widely adopted in U.S. hospitals. The adoption rate increases from 9% to 84% from year 2008 to 2015. In 2015, nearly 96% had the certified technology to adopt EHR. What is EHR data? An electronic health record can contain a patient's demographics, chart information and clinical notes, medications and treatment plans, laboratory and test results, diagnosis, continuously monitored vital signs, radiology images, and so on. With the improvement of EHR data capturing, modern EHR data is usually multimodal, large-scale, high-dense, and continuous. Consider a scenario where a critically ill patient is staying at an intensive care unit. The monitors in the ICU are continuously recording the patient's blood pressure, respiratory rate, the electrical activity of the heart, etc. In practice, however, the monitor can only show up values within the last 30 to 60 seconds, so a doctor usually makes decisions only based on short-term observation of the monitor and the nurse's notes. So the problem is, can an algorithm detect the deterioration earlier from the long-term rich monitoring data? The answer is of course yes, and here comes the proposed algorithm RAM. RAM stands for a recurrent attentive intensive model. It addresses three challenges arising in the above problem. First, multi-channel high-density signal processing. As noted before, the data is large-scale and contains high-density and multi-channel signals. For example, when 125 Hz single ECG lead can record 11 million values per day. Traditional signal processing methods or journaling algorithms have difficulties in scaling up computationally. So in RAM, we adapt deep neural networks for efficiently processing the multi-channel continuous signals. Secondly, multiple data modalities. While the signals are continuously recorded, there are still discrete information that are regularly or irregularly recorded. Traditional methods align all the data into one unified long feature vector. This ignores the different level of information carried in the different modalities. Instead, in RAM, we utilize the records like medications and labs as guidance in modeling the patient's status on the continuous monitoring data. Lastly, but not least, interpretability. Deep learning models are usually treated as black boxes when making predictions, but it is extremely hard for doctors to believe a result without knowing why and how it was produced. So in RAM, we open the box and tell what input factors are mostly influencing the predictions. If you are interested in RAM, please visit our website at sunlab.org. Thanks.